design and screen. Unlike the metal-clad LG K10, the K8 has a grey outer plastic shell, with a grid-like design that's pleasant to hold. The camera has been moved centrally, sitting just above the fingerprint scanner, another nice feature to see. However, it doesn't feel too light or cheap when you pick it up, nor with a lot of flex when put under a bit of stress, which is often a sign of good quality build. The screen, a 5-inch affair, uses LG's in-cell technology, which helps improve the quality of a basic LCD display. In news, it does offer a great contrast ratio with good-looking blacks and nice color reproduction, we'd have expected a lot worse for a phone of this quality. The resolution isn't the best around, with it only being 1280 by 720 but at the screen size it's not too bad with 279 pixels per inch. The overall use is a touch length, and that makes sense when you consider that it's got a quad-core CPU inside with 2GB of RAM. Not a terrible spec, and with 16GB of storage inside you'll probably get away with using this over a couple of years without having to worry too much about deleting a load of photos. We found that some things, like Google Chrome, were a touch slow to load but this is a prototype at MWC 2018, so there's every chance the final version will be a bit slicker.